Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday afternoon, or Sunday, wherever you are today, and uh, a good weekend. I missed Friday for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, um, but you know me, I'm not always as punctual and as regular as I plan to be in uploading videos. But I did want to get on and show you my purchase from the Tom Ford Sole Neige um, collection. I half wanted to wait because I've ended up with just one of the palettes and not, not the one that I really, really wanted. I'm hoping still that I might be able to get hold of the other one. But as of yet, it hasn't appeared on the Tom Ford website. Neither of them have. The one that I got, I actually got off the Selfridges website where it appeared for a very short period of time before um, disappearing. I don't know whether both of them are available in store. Quite often that happens as a very limited release for the online store. Uh, I just haven't had time to go searching. So... I sort of was half waiting to see if I got the other one, but I thought I'd show you the one that I've got. So um, without further ado, here we are with the um, Soleil. Is it called Soleil Neige or... Wait a minute. Uh, I've got the packet somewhere. Yeah, the, the package on the lip balm, which I'm going to show you in a moment, just says Soleil, although it is 01 in Neige. So, I don't know. Um, is this the holiday collection? I guess so. Uh, I just never know with Tom Ford releases, which are not very regular over here. So, it's the wet and dry formula. The palette I've got is called Apres Ski, and I actually like the look of the other one chalet lust which i know a lot of people don't like because it's got very four very similar colors in it but i think it would work very well for me but this is the one that i got so the apres ski uh it's the wet and dry formula um let me just use this other palette to block out the mirror for a moment so that we can look at it properly I have used it um, or I've used two of the colours in a look yesterday you wouldn't know from how smooth the surfaces are that I have in fact used the top two colours um, so I, actually the colour palette of this is fairly similar isn't it um, a little bit more mixed kind of medium toned bronzes brown and um, beige uh, I usually use these dry but you can use them wet to ramp up the color payoff you know if you like the formula you like the formula so there we go with the darkest bronze which you can see quite shimmery what I would call quite a ooh, making a nice mess there russet color that is very gold on the fingertip swatch then I used this with a brush yesterday you can see a kind of lighter um, I'd call this a rosy peach really it reminds me this color Tom Ford does do quite a lot um, one of the early cream shadows that I absolutely loved and still use was in this kind of rosy color which is really pretty for blue eye fair skin and then um a kind of creamy gold really it looks more gold than it does in the the palette so um i'm just going to take my watch off actually to give myself thereby wrecking the swatch of the gold let's give myself a bit more room on the um, to show those we see I slightly smudged that one so we'll give it another look so pretty yeah um now 
I think it's very similar, this palette, to a previous palette, which was Soleil d'Hiver um, gold packaging, no TF on it, but what do we think? They are different, but I felt they were very similar. The old one has, you know, got a true dark brown, um, much darker. But the other colours, um, very similar, I think. Shall we do a quick swatchy swatchy? I haven't used this one an enormous amount, as you can see. I've used it a little bit. So, very dark brown. Compared with, new one feels much softer actually. So, they do look kind of different. Then we've got the very russety one over there. This is definitely going to be more peachy gold. They do look different. In fact, that this one oddly looks much closer to the, the brown in the new palette, doesn't it? Which is weird. Then um, a kind of lighter peach, goldy peach. Pretty. And then the final gold. This is a much thinner, more kind of top coaty type gold. So you can see when you actually swatch them, it's definitely a different palette. Um, the, there were three in this release, I don't know if you remember, and I definitely preferred the other two. There was one with a very unusual pretty green in it, which was the one I was mad for, and I do love that green, but not the rest of the palette so much. And then there was a much more cool-toned white, silver, grey palette that I didn't expect to like as much and didn't initially purchase and then I ended up getting it in store and that's the one I favour of that release from last year um, but this one this year reminds me a bit of that until you actually swatch it and it does look a bit different so as I say I used that peach and gold yesterday it's very pretty um, not as you know striking as some of the Tom Ford palettes now, the lip product with it is a lip um, blush, they call it, in silver fingerprints all over, casing with what are, I think, little silver flecks, but they just look like bubbles, really, um, when you look at it. And this is one of these formulas that is supposed to change um, to do with your own pH. So I'm spreading it fairly generally, generously there. And you can see it going a little bit pink on my skin. Um, on my lips, it's a kind of cooler um, pink, faint pink than that. It's fine. It's a really nice kind of lip balmy type um, feel. Uh, very, very faint colour. You can see it going quite pink now. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference to my lip colour. Now, I think they did this before, one with gold flecks, which I thought I had, but I can't find it. And it wasn't last year's, because when I dug last year's out, do you remember? It was this glitter bomb that I thought was so beautiful. And you can see I've hardly used it. <laughs> I have used it a few times, but um, it just gives a slightly gold sheen on the lips it looks much prettier in the bullet to be honest um so these are pretty expensive products really lip products for what they are i think um you know it depends how much you like the color changing on your lips type formula um whether it's worth it to you it's a glamorous case but you know soon looks gungy and uh, yeah, the, the good old reliable wet and dry formula, uh, it's going to depend if the colour scheme appeals to you. 
Um, I'm sorry I don't have the other one to show you. As I say, that has three colours that some, um, four colours that some would say are very, very close to each other, kind of light, um, sheeny creams, golds. Uh, but I've seen it being shown and swatched, particularly by Cherie Voyage, um, who's got much darker skin tone than me, it's fair to say. Um, but it really does look stunning on her. And that's the one that I really want if I can get my hands on it. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week. And I hope that I manage to speak to you again soon and um, talk to you about a really good new concealer that I'm enjoying and a new foundation, which is OK. Um, and I'm also looking out for the Chanel Holiday Collection, which has definitely dropped in the States, certainly so far as the uh, YouTube influencers are concerned. Uh, but no signs yet here in the UK. Um, anyway, until next time, uh, keep well and safe and I shall talk to you soon. Bye for now.